Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to the Economox Garage. Come on in. Okay, the main part of the car is ready to go. It's been sanded uh, 180, then 320, then 400, and then wet sanded with 600. And I've uh, done a few patches along the way, but it's everything's nice and smooth and clean. I'll give it a good clean and then I'll mask it off and then do the tack cloth and then we can get to spraying. But uh, that's jumping ahead. I've got some of the masking done on the bonnet, but then I uh, realized before I go too much further, I should probably get the doors sanded down to the thing. I'm pretty sure I've already got to 320. So I'll go over with the 420. Um, I have the little foam pad. That I'm using for that then I will wet sand with the six the 600 and then once I've got the sanding done on the doors um, and the license plate plinth which is sitting down right here and just hanging up over here drying uh, you can see it up here is the uh, the gear shift little console thing uh, I'll get that sanded with the 600 as well and then that means everything is ready to go to paint now one thing I am going to do on the doors is I think I'm going to move them over a little bit towards the outside. I'll still give me enough room uh, to paint, get you know, a spray in here from both sides. Then I'll mount the hinges on the door so they get painted at the same time. So I'll, all I have to do is re-drill these holes that go straight through. I'll just move them over a couple of inches and that'll give me more room between the doors to have the hinges in place. I've got the door hinges mounted so next up I'm just going to give these a wet sand with 600 because I know they've already gone through with uh, the 320 and the 400 so I just have a bucket of warm water and some 600 waterproof paper that I've cut into quarter sheets and then I will just use that I just have one of these little uh, sanding pads or backing pads it's flexible and it just makes for a smoother finish once I got the outside of the door done, then I'll switch around and repeat the process on the inside. Well, one of the things sometimes you discover um, is some damage to the door. And now I think of it, I remember this, it did fall over the other day, so um, I've got some repairs to do in the paint here. So I'll give that a sand back, get a couple of more shots of the high build on there. I've also noticed some, but there are some uh, sanding marks in through here. So I'm going to sand this back a bit further with the 320 and the 400 then i'll come back again with the wet sanding and hopefully we'll be rid of all those i'll check the other door for the same thing and make the necessary repairs uh, so while i'm waiting for that uh, patch to dry on the door i thought i'd just go ahead and start masking off the front of the car so i've run a bead of or a row of tape just underneath the lip here so that sticky sides pointing up and i'll just get one side done um, and I'll get taped up along here and then the only thing that needs to be exposed at the front here is the sill so I'll just make sure everything else is covered up with the poly and that will be the front of the car done. Okay, the front of the car is masked off and I started running the tape around the edge of the cabin opening. Then I remembered I hadn't replaced the masking tape on the back side here so that's all done now, just, uh, fresh tape. 
uh, on the gas tank hole, tail light holes there, there, the license plate light hole, and the bumper holes. Uh, so that's done. Uh, now I'll just finish off running the masking around the edge of this opening, and then I can uh, run that poly over top. I sure like working with that. Makes things a lot easier than fooling around with uh, strips of paper. Well, there we go. We've got the poly draped around the uh, the bonnet and quite happy with that. And one thing with this uh, material, I'll just get to a spot where I see it. I'm not too sure the reasoning on this, but it does have a one side that you want facing out uh, for the paint. And as long as you follow that all the way around, things should be good for that, whatever reason that is. I can see I've got it paint this side here. And here, and then I made sure, even though I only did some small strips down the side here, uh, got it there. So next up, uh, I'm going to get some help and get the poly up around the garage. I'm also going to set up um, a little shelf or something up on top here to do the uh, gear shift cover um, and the license plate plinth. So I don't forget those. So those all have, those are all going to be body color. There we have the poly draped up all the way around the garage and I think I'm just happy to have that where it is. I'm going to head to Lowe's or Home Depot and get what they call a tarp zipper and just put it in the, the poly here so I've got a door between this part and the workbench. I'm not going to bother up top because with, with that ceiling fan going and the other box fan going it across the bottom of the door. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too worried about uh, the stuff from the top, just um, all the stuff on the sides. Uh, a couple more steps for cleanup and what have you. Now this, this space did end up a little bit tighter than I thought it might. So my plan is I'm gonna move the rack for the doors closer to the bonnet. I'll do the back side of the, or the inside of the doors first, and then move the rack closer to the the poly and that way gives me a bit more room on this side to get to the outside of the doors. So I'm going to start there first, the little trim, the little uh, the license plate plant and the gear link gear shift cover. Then I'll get onto the the bonnet and then I'll get onto the the uh, body itself. And we're definitely getting steps in the right direction to get the car painted sooner than later. Okay so now that the 
the poly is up where I want it. The next thing I need to do is put in a door. I just picked up one of these tarp zippers from uh, Home Depot. Uh, it was about $15, $14 Canadian. So put that in and that will allow me to get in and out uh, relatively easily. And there's the zipper installed. It works quite well. Basically just it's self-adhesive and uh, full width. Stick it on and then open the zipper and just cut down through it. And it works quite nicely and makes it easier to get in and out.